Oh, I've got this Camry back for an oil and filter change. Uh, this is the one that was so sludged up, the carbon, I couldn't actually get oil into the engine. It was blocked. So you take the cap off and you couldn't put oil in. So I had to take the rocket cover off to clean it all out. And then clean out all the shit from the sump. But it's still going alright. It's had two oil changes since then. This will be its third one. I would have liked to give it a bit more, but you know. Uh, the rest of the car's alright. I've given an inspection about a month ago. Brakes and everything fine. So today will be a simple oil and filter change once it cools down. So, yeah. You should never change oil hot because you'll burn yourself, you know, because oil can be over 100 degrees and it sticks to you. And number two, you should never put cold oil in a hot engine with an alloy head especially because you can damage the head that way. If the head's, you know, 80, 90 degrees in places you pour in oil, it's like 15, 20 degrees, it's not going to do much good to it. You're going to get contraction in certain areas and you can crack it. So, Usually an oil change takes about three hours from the car driving in to cool down and to do it safely. Oh well, I let it cool down enough that I drain the oil and change the filter. Once the oil had finished draining, I uh, put a little bit of engine oil flush in there, flush it all through, and break up any shit in the sump. And then I poured a bit of fresh oil in just to rinse that out. Once that comes out nice and clean at the bottom, then I'll put the plug in and fill it up. And then you've done a nice oil change. Oh, well, that definitely needed changing again. See, it's cleaning out all the shit from inside the engine from all the bad oil and crap, all the sooting up it did. So, yeah. It's not horrible, but well needed changing, probably 500 to 1000 k's ago. Oh, the oil and filter's changed on it, so not much to really show. Start it up. still a little whiny from the cams, but it's heaps better than it used to be. This thing used to sound like a rattly tractor. So, it's much better now. So, always good to change the oil before it fucks your engine. Well, the other thing this car was in for was intermittent battery light coming on. Uh, most people think the battery light means bad battery. The battery light actually is your charge light for the alternator. So if that comes on, that generally means you've got a faulty alternator or something wrong with the charge system. It has nothing to do with the battery itself. So this one I have not seen come on when it shouldn't come on. So I've just told them, let it get worse. Because they said it just comes on every now and again for a few seconds and goes away. So it's probably a faulty regulator or bad brushes. But it does everything it should do. Aircon on, aircon off, headlights on, headlights off. I can't get it to do it, but it only seems to do it in heavy traffic, so it's probably heat related. So coming into summer, I'll probably start doing it more, then I'll be able to go, okay, definitely alternator or regulator, and repair it. But until then, there's no point really wasting time. Oh, just a little bit more on the Camry. After I test drove it, you know, for a while, I noticed it was idling a little bit slow for me in gear. So I questioned the owner a little more about when the charge light was coming on, like if their foot was on the gas pedal or not, and you know if they were facing up a hill, down a hill. And the answer was foot not on gas pedal, and usually in a certain spot it happens near a hill and some lights. So I'm thinking it might be even idle related and it might be getting a bit slow and charge light could be coming on from that. So I'll have to check out the throttle body and you know, just maybe set the idle just a bit faster if the throttle body is not already being cleaned. So, but it could be something stupid like that, not the alternator but just slowish idle. 
That's why I said to them, I don't want to, you know, just say it's the alternator yet until we work it right out. 